What's up, guys? This is Reno Ranchero, and I am doing another episode of The Last Man Standing. This is a series where we follow people around, and we see who kills whom, to use proper grammar, and we try to see who ends up winning the game. So it's going to be a really fun time to see who wins by watching what people do. The person I'm following is right here. The person here is Gwernt89, who just put on a pumpkin and then decided, I don't want this pumpkin, and now she's putting on the pumpkin again. So she really likes putting pumpkins on emotional roller coasters for some reason. I don't know what her problem is. And the magical blue hair girl is out of her hole now, grabbing some more mushrooms, and probably gonna get into some PvP fights. Someone named Primo PvP. Oh, look at that! Mr. Blue Hair Girl. And I don't know why I called her a mister, but she is on fire for some reason maybe she just wanted to get into the lava maybe she was feeling a little cold I don't know some people like that I personally don't like to burn alive but some people do and looks like they got someone right here named Primo PvP. Will the digger be able to win? She is running right now. I know she's got soup and a sword. There's no real reason for her to be running right now. So I'm a little perplexed, I guess you could say. But Primo is running. That's an interesting skin right there. Not really sure what to make of it. That might be a football helmet. I don't know, guys. I don't know sports. Well, I kind of do. Anyway, now they're fighting. Gwert is fighting back. Kind of lagging a little bit. Gwert is pretty good at PvP. Gets the kill right there. This girl does seem to be lagging rather excessively moving around kind of laggishly if that's a word uh, she is tracking a miner who is 129 blocks away at level 49 named Chromo Minhu so I believe Chromo Minhu is probably getting full iron uh, not really sure how he has uh, or how he's doing on the soup so let's go see uh, look at that a good amount of stew using them right now maybe fighting mobs so doesn't have a lot of soup but has the iron sword 12 ore so we'll see what happens if these two guys fight or maybe she'll track someone else. There's two name tags over there as you can see. One of them is the miner who she was just tracking. I don't know if they're fighting or a team. But Gwent is running in. We're going to watch the action right here. She is fighting Chromo Ninhu who's got the iron chest plate and the iron sword. Now she's running and she is dead. Looks like Kalik is got the kill on the surprise digger. So I guess it was a surprise digger. Not digger out of choice. And Kalik Starkestrekst is the person we are following. So these guys are going to be getting a lot of iron together, but I don't know how much soup they have. Let's go see. This guy now has tons of soup because of the girl who collected all the shrooms in the first place. And we got this guy, Kalik Starkestrekst, who's got his soup as well. Mushrooms, I mean, I don't know how to pronounce that name, guys. I'm just going to call him Mr. Kai, because that seems like a nice thing to say. So that both these guys are going to be mining for a while. They are on the move now, tracking this guy named Joe Malister, who is a jumper playing one of the free kits. These guys are probably going to wreck this guy, unless he has a teammate. He is about uh, 58 blocks away, is the number I want to say. And they are moving right now. This guy's on the surface, so I'm sure they're going to be fighting him shortly. Uh, maybe I don't know. There he is, actually. He's got a little cape on, and he's got everything but the helmet. And this guy, Kai, is running in right now to fight him. And here we go. He's got a ravine right there, so he has to think about that. I just used his ender pearl. Mr. Joe just pearled all the way over here. Uh, maybe he'll jump onto that tree. Actually, no, he just pearled to the other teammate. He's got lava, and he got Chromo in lava, but oh, man, he is dead. So I guess he just hurt the feelings of Chromo, but he is now in a better place. These two guys in the top eight. We are still following these guys who are running around. Kai, Kex, Dex, Dex, and his teammate Chromo Minhu, who is 44 blocks away. Someone named Blue Lizard was just killed by Spidey, who is a stomper. So we are really narrowing things down here. People are getting killed off. The feast was actually announced, and I'm sure they're going to make their way over there. Uh, Chromo just keeps leaving the game for some reason, so I'm not really sure if he's having connection issues. I'm clearly having a lag spike right now, as you guys can see. <laughs> that was not a good thing. Uh, he is now tracking Hot Chris 49 He says something into the chat. I don't know what that means. But here's Hot Chris, who does not have a kit. This would be his chance to fight the guy uh, before the two guys get together and double team him. Uh, so that's probably something that Mr. Uh, that guy should think about. Mr. That guy, that's what he's called. I'm getting crazy lag spikes, but here is the feast platform. This guy says Vempro Feast. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it. I don't really know how to speak Portuguese. But he is at the feast platform right now. Hawk is 67 blocks away. And Hawk Chris, who does not have a kit, is running in over here to fight this guy. He does not have his teammate to help him. 
So these guys are just fighting back and forth. This guy's trying to use the Thor kit to his advantage, but Hot Chris seems to have really good combos. He is hitting this guy a lot. This guy is just trying to rely on the Thor kit. Chromo Mean who just entered the next life, so this guy's teammate is dead, and Hot Chris is getting some crazy combos on this guy. He really knows how to PvP well. This guy's gonna have to rely on his Thor kit to stay alive against Hot Chris 46, who just comboed this guy off the feast platform. And now he is hitting him even more, jumping up and down, critting Mr. Kai, trying to rely on the Thor kit. But Hawk just continues to hit this guy, giving him a whole bunch of pain right now. Kai is probably crying IRL. That's my guess anyway, guys. Hawk looks like he just refilled, and the two of them are continuing to fight. Kai is getting comboed hard in this biome, trying to run for his life. There's water right there. They gotta watch out for the water. I think Kai is screwed. I think he just threw his sword. Is that what just happened, guys? I think that's what happened, and he is dead. Hot Chris 46 gets the kill. The team is dead, and Hot Chris 46 finds himself in the top four. The biggest mistake that that team made was splitting up and not staying together. That is how they died. They were not able to 2v1 people, and now he's got Spidey Thorn on his compass, who was the person who killed the other teammate. Let's go see what Spidey's doing. He is the Stomper Kit. Is he up above the feast? That's what I would suspect him to do if he's playing Stomper. Let's see. Is he on this tower? He's actually over here, towering up right there. So that's great. That's what you should do if you're playing Stomper. There's Mr. Hawk, who does not have a kit, by the way. So it's amazing that he's actually made it this far as a solo player without even having a kit. He's clearly good at PvP. The feast is going to start in just one minute. And this guy is trying to get into a good, advantageous position, which is, of course, 100 blocks up into the air, right above the feast. The chests are going to spawn in just about 30 seconds, and we see Hawk in a very familiar position I think we can all relate to, where the feast is gonna start, and you got that tower who's just trying to make you nervous and make you very sad indeed. The chests are going to appear in 15 seconds. Does this guy have an axe? Yes, he does actually. He does have a stone axe, so we could use the axe strategy. Not really sure if he'll do that or not. But this guy is Stomper, he's just looking down. Maybe he'll jump when the chests spawn, just for the heck of it, because that's what a lot of Stompers do. And there he goes, he just jumped, and he actually killed Hot Chris 46 in just one stop. I thought he was holding shift, but I guess maybe he let go. Maybe it's bugged, I don't know, but Spidey Thorn <laughs> just gets the one-shot kill, just like that. And now he's able to loot the feast. He's got diamond armor, diamond stuff in his inventory. That is great. I feel bad for Mr. Hawk. But now we got Spidey Thorn, who is the person we're following in the top three. And the other two players in the game appear to be a team. Mr. Bowmaster and Ellie Loves JC. I finally realized what that says. Eli Loves JC. So whoever Eli is, loves someone named JC. Uh, I'm not sure who JC is, could be a religious figure, not entirely sure, but he does not have soup, he's got rotten flesh, maybe he'll hotkey to the rotten flesh, that could be a nice PvP strategy that we just don't know about yet. Let's go over to Bone Master, see what kind of pro things he has in his hotbar, oh man, he's got the rotten flesh too. This is clearly a new PvP strategy I haven't heard of yet, guys. <laughs> but we will see what happens, it is these two guys, Bo and Eli, versus the full diamond feast winner. Who will win? I don't know. We will see. And look at Bo and Eli. They're just for some reason. <laughs> They're just like digging next to each other in the dirt. I really don't know what's going on, but Spidey is just towering up. If these two guys... Oh, he just jumped down and he got the stomp. Oh my god. He just stomped Bo. Oh no. And he killed Eli. <laughs> And he wins the game. Spidey Thorn <laughs> plays the Stomper Kit, and he wins the game. He is our last man standing. And that is the end of this episode of The Last Man Standing. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Good.